right? Where are you settling? These are questions I want you to sit with for a moment and answer. Where are you settling? Listen, I told you maybe about five days ago, I had this quantum leap in my energetics, right? And the truth that I allow myself to hear because many of you really desire something else, but you keep saying, well, I'm okay with this, or it really doesn't take all that. You're saying that maybe because you haven't acquired what it is that you really desire, but until you really fully align with it, until you make moves that are in alignment with what you really desire, then there will always be resistance. What you want won't, won't show up until you get in alignment in words, thoughts, and actions, like the things that you are actually doing. And a lot of us have to be honest with our with your with ourselves. I had to be, I said, you do want this number right here in your business. This is what you desire. And everything in me through a decision began to rise up to that. For many of you, it will be overcoming limiting beliefs and being able to really step into that next space of abundance and being able to receive um, at another level. Until then, your limiting beliefs will run the show. Your limiting beliefs will run the show. It'll run the show. And so the energy, hear me when I say this, the, the energy of who you're being offline, at home, those thoughts and things that you have with yourself, they're actually showing up online. Now, this was something that bothered me because I knew for a while, I was like, yeah, energy doesn't lie and I got to get in alignment because it doesn't lie. It doesn't lie. And you become an energetic match for what you're in an energetic match for. And so one of the first things I want you to do today is say, where am I playing small? Where am I out of alignment with what it is that I really desire? Not what I'm settling for, but what I really desire. So one of the first things you're going to have to do is raise your standards. I talk to you all about standards all the time and how important how important they are. Standards are things that you don't allow to be different. They're not like boundaries because boundaries change and move as we grow in actuality. So I had some really strict boundaries at one time. I needed to get centered in that space. But now that I'm moving to a new level in my business, there are some of those boundaries that don't exist for me anymore, right? in my space of it gets to be easy. I'm working with a different type of client who you know, won't be taking advantage of those things and things will be in alignment. And so some of those boundaries get to be removed. I was actually uh, talking to one of my groups about a boundary that I had that made no sense anymore for where it is I desire to go. But your standards are something different. So as far as you being paid, for your prices and your services. What are you not up for, right? What is a standard that you set because you understand your value and you're just not willing to be paid any less than that? 